saints of the day on Lumen Christi Television Network. Today is the memorial of Saints Aganos, Daniel, Elias and Companions, Faustinus, Onestus, Jeremy and Blessed Joseph. But today we want to pay attention to Saint Juliana of Nicomedia. Juliana was born in the 3rd century. She was the daughter of pagan parents who were illustrious princes of Nicomedia when Diocletian ruled. She was betrothed to a senator named Elisius who fell in love with her and was looking forward to their wedding. Juliana declined as she wished to remain a virgin. Assuming it was a girl's caprice, Eleusis sought the position of Roman governor of the capital of Bithynia. He had spent a lot of money and had his family and friends mediate for him at the court. In a fairly short amount of time, he assumed the post and became governor of Nicomedia. He then repeated the marriage proposal to Juliana but she revealed her faith to him. As a bride of Christ, she said, unless you abandon the adoration of meaningless idols and you worship my Lord Jesus Christ, I won't marry you because it is impossible for our bodies to be unified if our hearts militate. For this refusal, Julian had a price to pay. We'll bring you details of that after the break. Reflecting on the life of Saint Juliana of Nicomedia, whose memorial is today. Juliana stayed constant to her decision, although her parents pleaded with her. It led to her arrest, and then she was taken to the court in the front of the Roman governor as a follower of the religion which was then under persecution. Her fiancé became her judge her torturer and eventually her executioner. He ordered people under his authority to remove her clothing and submit her to a series of tortures. First, Juliana was flogged. Then she was hanged by her hair and afterward it was pulled even from her scalp. While in prison, she knew other horrible tortures. At this point, Alicius pleaded with her to marry him so that he would get rid of the tortures 
and he promised her he would even allow her to worship her God freely. But Juliana remained constant. She was taken before a cauldron of molten lead. Juliana touched the cauldron and it tumbled over and the molten lead injured the guards. At that instant, many of the pagans who were present, about 500 men and 130 women were ready to convert to Christianity. They were all beheaded on the spot on the governor's order. Finally, Juliana herself was beheaded. She was then 18 years old. Dear friends, Juliana is a shining example teaching us to remain constant in the face of trials, especially when it has to do with our faith. We should never compromise. Saint Juliana has traditionally been invoked for the safe delivery of women in labor and for protection from fever and contagious diseases. Let us pray. All powerful and ever living God, you choose the weak in this world to confound the powerful. As we celebrate the anniversary of the martyrdom of Saint Juliana, may we imitate her charity and prudence, and like her, remain constant in our faith. Amen. Thanks for staying with us. It's been Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi TV. Happy feast day to you all, especially those who bear the name Juliana. Upon a tree, evil.